Hey guys, I'm Sophie and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about some of my fall obsessions. I did a little bit of shopping lately and I bought some things that are kind of really random, but I'm really excited about and I figured this would be kind of a fun, weird haul. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Um, first up, just need to give a shout out to this mug. Don't know if I can find this online. I've had it for a few years, but look how cute it is. The fruit. Adorable. My old boss and coworker gave it to me and now they're two of my best friends. Probably because of this mug. Okay, let's get into this. First up are these sunglasses. They could not be more 90s if they tried. And I'm obsessed with them. Um, they remind me of like friends 90s vibes and I just love them so much. I had seen this kind of shape silhouette if you may of sunglasses around and I really liked it and wanted to try. I'm not sure if it's the most flattering on me but I truly do not care. I'm not really one of those people that completely abides by like whether or not something's flattering on you. If I like it I'm gonna wear it. These ones I picked up off Amazon, so they were dirt cheap. I think they were between 10 and 15 Canadian. Um, I liked this trend, but to be totally frank, I think it's gonna be fleeting. So I didn't want to spend much money at all. And I found these online. I liked them, I picked them up. So I will leave a link down below for the amazon.ca link. And if I can find one on .com, I will. I've seen these around. I've seen other people buying them off Amazon. So I'm sure I will find them, but don't mind if I do. Okay, so next up is a candle. It is the Capri Blue Volcano Candle. So you can get this in Anthropology. you can get this at other places. It is a very popular candle. I had one that I bought a few years ago. I just got the little size that time too, and I actually went to get the larger size, but they didn't have it left over. I picked this one up at the Bay, if you're from if you're in Canada, um, but haven't been to an anthropology in a really long time, but I know that they usually always have the volcano candle, volcano candle in stock. Um, the thing for me is that I always try and find like jars that I like because Capri Blue tends to switch up. Like if you go to an anthropology, you'll probably find multiple volcano candles of different sizes in different kinds of like jars. So this is this one, it's super pretty. It's like this milky kind of white look. Um, and when you light it, it kind of lets off light, as you can imagine, in like a really pretty way. Um, so I'm a huge, huge fan of this. Funny fact, I had originally heard about the volcano candle on, I think, YouTube blogs, and I went into an anthropology to smell it for the first time, and I did not like the smell. I don't know, I usually go for kind of vanilla-y, musky, woodsy kind of scents. This one is not really that. I can't even describe to, this, to you the scent. What is it? doesn't say. I can't describe the scent to you. I could look it up. Maybe I'll put the notes of what the scent is here. Um, but I ended up buying it because the internet had influenced me and even though I didn't like it in person, I bought it, which is very strange. But it was then that I learned that sometimes candles, when they actually get lit and you light like your room or your house with them, the scent is different from when you just whiff it in the candle. I don't know if that's just because the scent's like in a larger proximity of space or something, but I loved the scent in my apartment and now I know that I like it but at first smell didn't love it so super random but I got the small size because it's all they had I really want to find a larger one so I think I'm gonna go to anthropology soon and see if I can find it but yes this candle next up is a fragrance so it's actually empty almost but this is the Maison Louis Marie number no. four this fragrance is so scrumptious guys and it is almost a perfect dupe for the Lalabo Santal. It's so freaking good. I love it. The Lalabo Santal is a bit of an overdone perfume. I know a lot of people wear it and a lot of people love it. So I for one wasn't sure I wanted to invest so much money in a scent that I actually smelled around quite a bit. I wanted to invest in something that was a little bit more unique if that makes sense. So the Lalabo one I think is around $300 and I picked up the travel size because I wanted to just try it out. And, and typical for most travel size items, it was actually really bad value compared to buying the large size. So this is about $35 I think and the large is about 100 and this is honestly like a tenth of what you get in the large size. So 
Um, definitely, if you have the opportunity to smell it in person, you're interested, I would recommend giving it a whiff and then buying the large if you want good value. If you want to just try it out, you can do what I did um, and just get this small size, but yeah. So it's a super delicious scent. I think I'm gonna pick up the large one because I really liked it, um, and yeah. Next up are some face masks because uh, it is 2020 and now these are a regular part of our lives. I never thought I would say that, but it's true. And I figured I would show you guys the mask that I've been wearing. So first up is this guy. This is a white, I believe, linen one from Etsy. I'm just gonna show you up close because the actual can you see it's like multicolored stitching and the stitching actually has a sparkle to it I don't know if that's coming across on camera this um, one the best part of it is these ear straps what would you call this like elastic ear thing um, they're so soft like every mask needs this material I don't know why these this one is just so comfortable it's got a really big surface area um, and it's not the best cut but uh, it's a really good go-to one. I really like this one. I mean, it's white, so makeup comes off on the inside, but that's true for all of them. Um, so this is from Etsy. I will try and find the seller and link it down below. Next up, also from Etsy, are two of my faves. These ones are silk, and I really wanted a silk face mask, especially for summer, because I felt like it would be so lightweight, so comfortable to wear. Um, the seller that I found online I will link down below as well and they only had these when I went online because they were sold out of pretty much everything so I want to go back and order some more silk ones so the first one is the blue color and it's this really pretty kind of really unique shade of blue and then it does have adjustable straps and this is kind of what the adjustable strap looks like it's got this little guy here um, and then once you wear it it looks like this the worst part about the worst part about silk face masks is this it's so lightweight that when you talk and you breathe it kind of sucks in and out when I first bought these and wore them that kind of really tripped me out it was so such a strange sensation but over time I've actually gotten used to it and these are one of my go-to's especially in hotter days these have been a lifesaver the other one I love so much it's this leopard print the straps are a bit different but they are also adjustable and it has a really big surface area which I actually prefer so this is probably one of my very favorite masks that I own um, but I reach for these all the time if, I ha if I'm wearing something like this, more patterned, I will not reach for this guy because I find it a bit overwhelming looks-wise, so I'll reach for the blue one. I want to go back to the seller and get some more plain ones. I would love a black one, stuff like that, because I find that these are really go-tos for me. The next two I bought, I bought off Revolve, which is so never somewhere I would have thought about buying masks, but truly I wouldn't have thought about buying masks at all until this year but I actually saw Allegra Shaw wear one of these and it, I just loved the pattern so I went on to Revolve to take a look because that's where she said it was from and they had so many face masks and they were really for the most part very reasonably priced like similar to the Etsy sellers so um I picked up five but I only have two to show you because the other three are pre-ordered and they're coming later in September. The first one is this guy, which is a super beautiful print. Very kind of autumnal, very fall. Um, so I love, love this guy. It is, it's like a linen, I believe, and it's definitely a more structured linen. So it's not actually the comfiest mask, but it's very pretty. Um, the other thing that wasn't great about this mask was um, the straps were really oversized and I actually fell off my face so the straps were massive but I actually picked up a bag of these little guys so that any future masks that I have I can adjust them myself. Um, so it looks like this. Super cute. And this is the one and the reason I went to Revolve in the first place. This mask Allegra had. I loved it. I purchased it and then my friend actually sent us a insta story one day and she was wearing this mask and I was like weird question but is that from Revolve? It's got great coverage and it is the softest softest material. I can't describe to you how amazing this mask is. The straps are so comfortable. Um, the print's super cute. 
it's a little thicker so when it's been warmer in Toronto I haven't been wearing it but come fall and now that the weather's dropping I'm gonna wear it a lot more often I love this mask so much and then the other three they will be coming so those that's my little face mask collection at the moment and they've all been great okay so next up I got a sweater looks like this it is black with a little hood and then these are its sleeves it's so weird guys it's from Zara I don't know what it is about this sweater I saw it online the shape of it's actually amazing and I became really in love with it and uh, I like kind of weird fun things especially if I'm having kind of a down day I will put on something that I love but that's a little like wacky and fun sounds so weird I don't even know how to describe this but Zara tends to have really fun kind of out there sweatshirts and sweater designs and this was kind of one of them it's cool and a little edgy I guess um, but also just so strange but it's amazing so I picked this up and I'm so randomly glad I did I really love it okay guys I have one more thing to show you this one is exciting. When I turned 30, I told myself I was gonna buy something designer for myself. I have owned one Alexander Wang bag in the past. I got it secondhand um, and I actually sold it because the design was kind of played out and I, I wore it for a while and then I sold it. But I wanted to buy something new designer. This is not everyone's cup of tea. I totally get it. A lot of people will be like, you did what? why um but i've loved fashion my whole life i have loved reading through vogue reading through in style since i was a teen i have dreamed of having a few like designer investment pieces in my wardrobe my entire life um and i honestly just never really got to the point of purchasing things like that yet until now what i purchased you may think would be a handbag that would make most sense it is not um, I purchased something people would think why on earth would that be your first designer piece, but I have a reason uh, First and foremost, it's something I had my eye on all of last year and was always sold out I looked online everywhere um, And then a few months ago, I ended up looking on Farfetch and finding a pair and I decided I was just gonna do it so really random but I bought the patent Chelsea monolith Prada boots here they are in all their glory oh my god here they are um, they are these patent platform chunky Prada boots I'm in love I'm truly in love with these boots um, last year I saw them on Instagram a lot a few uh, Instagram bloggers I follow had them and I just saw them being styled with going out outfits with casual outfits literally with sweatsuits like they went with everything and I was obsessed with them so I picked them up I purchased the boots because number one I really wanted them obviously um, I'd seen them like I mentioned couldn't find them online finally found them in the summer and snagged them the other reason I bought those boots is they're much cheaper than a lot of designer handbags um, and they as I said they go with like every kind of outfit um, so I knew that I would get a lot of use out of them a lot of wear out of them anytime I left the house I knew I would wear them no matter kind of what my outfit was um, I could wear them in the fall all throughout winter as long as it wasn't too snowy out I could wear them in the spring I could wear them kind of all over so that's kind of the reasoning I went for the boots I love them they're so beautiful there's a slight problem but it has nothing to do with the boots well it has to do with the boots but nothing like negative against the boots if that makes sense it's a I made a mistake kind of thing I bought the wrong size it's really sad but anyways I'm gonna try and um, try and figure it out <laughs> But anyways, hopefully I will still be able to wear them as much as I am planning on. 
Okay guys, that is the end of my haul. I know it was super random. Some transitional items into fall, but for the most part, it's just random things that I purchased that I love and I thought you might find entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would join the fam and subscribe to the channel. I am Sophie and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. No, 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 no.